Hey everyone, Tio here. In this video, I'm reviewing the Pitaka Mac Easy Folio 2 for the iPad Pro, which is an improvement over the first folio, which is the usual trifold folio. First of all, disclaimer, these are review samples provided by the company, and the first folio is US $39. This new one is $59. And there are two improvements. There is now this extra magnetic flap to prevent the Apple Pencil from dislodging accidentally. And this can now deploy your iPad Pro horizontally or vertically in landscape or portrait orientation. So you can move the magnetic flap to the back. There are actually magnets that can snap to the back. And with the cover, you can fold it this way. And now you can deploy the iPad Pro horizontally like this and it's quite stable or you can turn it 90 degrees like this into portrait orientation and this is quite stable as well and this is how it looks on the back the edges are in contact with the table surface and the exterior is the PU leather surface the interior is the fabric surface it is possible to fold the cover in a way that allows you to draw on the iPad Pro. But you have to fold it in this way where the fabric is on the outside. And this is quite stable. This is so stable that you can press down real hard with your hand and it's not going to move much. But the downside is this flap has to be out like this. If you fold the flap in, this can wobble and if you fold the flap in on the inner side like this this can still wobble the main issue i have with the trifold folio is the exterior is the fabric surface so when you have this on the table it's very prone to attracting dust and this is not easy to clean and this is more obvious on a black case than on a white case. The Mac Easy Folio 2 is available in two colors, black and white. Here's a close-up on the black and white PU leather material. It feels like leather and it looks like leather and the trimming at the edge is very well done. I personally prefer the black one, but as mentioned earlier, the fabric interior can get dirty quite easily. And notice there is this here. This allows you to fold the flap in like this and this will also attach with magnets. The main difference between the folios and slim cases from Pitaka versus the folios from other brands is these folios are compatible with the removable Mac Easy case from Pitaka, which you can see here. By the way, the folio has auto sleep and wake functionality. So this is the Mac Easy Case Pro with wireless charging capability. This is the connector for the charging stand or the charging pad that is included with the purchase of this case. This case is not cheap. The Mac Easy Case Pro is US $89. There is a non-charging version of this case which is $79. This color is the fiberglass version which you can see has some shine to it. And that's the keyboard connector for the iPad Pro. And down here is the USB-C connector that connects to the iPad Pro. And this is what enables this case to charge wirelessly. Because this is connected to this and this will attach to the wireless charging stand, which is US $99. So if you have to buy all these accessories, you can imagine how quickly the cost will add up. This case is slim enough to be used with the original Apple Magic Keyboard. Just make sure you get the correct size and the correct model for the iPad Pro. You have the M1 and M2 iPad Pro 12.9 inch is thicker compared to the 2018 and 2022 iPad Pro 12.9 inch. If you're wondering if it's possible to use the Pitaka Mac Easy case with folios from other brands, well, not really. You can snap the case magnetically onto this other folio that I have, but the fitting is not perfect. The folio from Pitaka is slightly thicker to accommodate the extra case, but not with this folio, which you can see cannot snap shut. 
And of course, you can use the iPad Pro without the case with this folio. So is the Pitaka Mac Easy Folio 2 worth the money? Well, you can decide based on the findings that I have presented. And if you are interested to get this folio, you can use the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.